Westfall has seen better days. Once the breadbasket of Stormwind, this part of the kingdom has seen decades of catastrophe. It's been invaded by gnolls and trolls, but most significantly by orcs, and more recently by bandits. The area's exhaustion is personified by its autumnal hue, and the absence of civilization has let the wildlife creep back in. The man who haunts the local lighthouse, and I mean haunt literally, has tasked us with clearing out the murlocs along the coast, and whilst doing so, one of them drops a map. If we take a closer look, we can see that it's not a map in a traditional sense, but instead directions to a locker. Quote, if ye be reading, no, I'm not doing that. It's here next to the shipwreck, the only one with its anchor beached in the sand. Inside the locker is yet another note with more instructions. We're to head east, up the bluffs, and onto the road. Along this road is an old naked chimney, and in a barrel nearby is our next clue. In the barrel we find yet another note, this one leading us due north. At the base of an old turbine thing, the function of which I have no idea, is what we're looking for, an old jug. Inside the jug is the strong smell of whiskey and our final clue. Head west down the shore, then even further westward to the island with the treasure. I'm glad Captain Sanders sent us on this little treasure hunt, but I have no idea why. And why is there a shed on this island? Just one of the countless mysteries never solved. Regardless, the treasure's quite nice. The eight slot bag is especially useful, and who doesn't love getting a new stylish shirt? Kingdom Come Deliverance is a beautiful game, for several reasons. Let's take Henry out on a walk, and find out why. The game world is a collection of rural settlements, with plenty of fields and forests in between. Along the road northwest out of Ujits is a windmill. This rendition of Bohemia has the most detail I have ever seen in a video game. The world is full of hand-placed cabins, streams, willows, mining operations, rocks, even pebbles, and these things don't exist for any other reason than that they likely would have done in those places nearly six centuries ago. But this windmill is at least a bit special, because if Henry climbs up inside of it, he'll find a map up on the highest beam. The very well hidden map is to treasure, and X marks the spot. Near the village of Ledechko, on the southern side of the river, is a dead tree, and near it should be our prize. 
The windmill is right up in the northeast, and the Dechko is in the lower centre of the map. So Henry has a bit of a journey ahead of him. Okay, looks like Henry's close. Maybe the world map will help. This map is amazingly illustrated and strikes a great balance between aesthetics and practicality. When playing this game, sometimes I like to just stare at it for a bit. Cross-referencing the two maps, it looks like the treasure is south of this road and east of this one. Eventually, Henry finds what he's looking for, a lone sack between a dead tree and a mound. Inside is actually some quite good loot, most importantly, a new pair of slippers. It's a cold winter's day in Falador, and we're cleaning out the bank. Right at the back is an old clue scroll we'd never got around to finishing. Let's give it a read. Talk to Tyriel in Burthorpe. Well, that's an easy step. Clue scrolls are always like this. You have to go to a certain place and perform a certain action. The way to Burthorpe is safe and short, just out of the north gate. Just outside is a crossroad. The right path would take us east to the barbarian village at the Lum River, and it takes you along this ridge overlooking Falador, and I think it's lovely, but we're not going that way. We're taking the left path west to the Sears village. This wall marks the boundary between the free-to-play area and the members area. When I was very young, I would just stare at this gate, just wishing I could enter through. It's not so much of a problem nowadays. Burthorpe, despite being quite an impressive looking town, is quite tucked away from the rest of the world, and you won't see many players here. Turiel's house is one of the closest. Let's say hi. Okay, so next step, talk to the Doomsayer. This might just be the easiest step I've ever seen. The Doomsayer is an NPC just outside of Lumbridge Castle, who can toggle danger warnings for the player so that they don't unknowingly find themselves too far from home. All players actually start with a teleport spell to Lumbridge, and so would you look at that, we're already here. He gives us a casket, which is our treasure. Let's have a look and see what great riches can be found inside. Ah.
A special thanks to YouTube members Amelis, Morian, Silux, Nightseeker, and Jonathan Bankson. Expect bigger and better things from Verigan in the new year. Take care.